see what Spirit wants to say about your connection right now. It's for my Taurus. My Taurus. Pop, we're getting two out. We've got Hangman feeling stuck. Mm. Seeing things differently. Needing to see. But we also feel like we're just stuck, stagnant. And full card, wanting a little bit more adventure. Mm -hmm. Undercurrent. Show me the undercurrent. Undercurrent. Mm, right here. We've got the world card. What's coming with that? The devil card. Wow. Okay. Just with that, guys. Bottom of the deck. Hold on. Let me look at the bottom of the deck. Chariot card. <clears throat> Being pulled in two different directions. We're not in sync with each other, guys. A lot of times, it, the chariot card can also represent libido. Hi, Taurus. So welcome to your reading. Guys, let's get into this. Yes, let's find out how we can... Call a truce, put disagreements, arguments aside, find our way back to each other, and make up. Mm -hmm. Let's see what Spirit wants to say, because we're going to let Spirit do a lot of the talking here. So we can get the bigger picture of what's going on. See what Spirit wants to say about your connection right now. It's for my Taurus, my Taurus. Pop, we're getting two out. We've got Hangman feeling stuck. Mm. Seeing things differently, needing to see. But we also feel like we're just stuck, stagnant. And full card, wanting a little bit more adventure. Mm -hmm. Undercurrent. Show me the undercurrent. Undercurrent. Mm. Right here. We've got the world card. What's coming with that? The devil card. Wow. Okay. Just with that, guys. Bottom of the deck. Hold on. Let me look at the bottom of the deck. Chariot card. <clears throat> Being pulled in two different directions. We're not in sync with each other, guys. A lot of times, it, the chariot card can also represent libido. The fact that we've got the devil and the world card coming out. Somebody that felt bored, like things were just not going anywhere in the connection, uh, is playing risky and maybe pushing things a little too far uh -huh, of it, an ending coming, a, an ending of something, either the risky behavior, mm -hmm, freeing ourselves from this devil one way or another, that we're going to change and grow together. Or we're going to change and grow apart. We're yeah, split. Mm -hmm. With that, let's pull the chariot down here, guys, because it does insinuate. Mm -hmm. Looking for excitement in all the wrong places. Mm -hmm. Friction energy. Let's get your person's energy. And it's okay, guys. If if I if you feel like I'm reading your energy as your person's energy. Take take it, mm -hmm, because it might be that spirit wanted you to hear yourself and your desires and stuff clearly. Mm -hmm. So it, the energies can be flipped, but I'm doing, my intentions is to do your person's energy first. We've got them out. We've got a 10 of emotions. Life is blessing you with a wonderful and loving family. Great happiness and emotional fulfillment are now on the horizon. Harmony with those you love is assured. By offering forgiveness, understanding, and kindness to others, you're rewarded with unconditional love. With unconditional love. So this person right now, it is they are trying to either give or receive some unconditional love. The uh, kindness, the understanding, forgiveness. Mm -hmm. Let's see your energy. Your energy. This is my Taurus's energy, please. Spirit. Oh. 
messenger of thought, a new topic or intellectual project is really exciting you. There's so much to learn before you feel ready to move forward. New information may require changes to your plans. Review all documents carefully. You know, will meet or are someone who loves to learn and share knowledge. This person is brilliant and truthful, but also blunt and not very diplomatic. What's that telling me? Mm -hmm. Messenger of thought. Not very diplomatic, very blunt. Uh -huh. We're constantly looking at uh, the plan. We've got a plan. Carefully going over details of what we're getting about this. Because this person wants unconditional love. Forgiveness. This person felt stuck. The devil... <laughs> The chariot. They were looking for adventure in all the wrong places. The love, the emotional fulfillment of something, thinking that that would bring them emotional fulfillment and possibly have pushed you to the point of, um, I don't think so because you're standing very much in your thoughts, in your head, in the feelings of what's got you there of, I'm pissed off. I feel betrayed. I, I know I can't trust you now. Let me keep looking for the proof. And then bring it and throw it in your face. So you can't deny I have reason that I cannot trust you now. Are we getting it? Mm-hmm. Energy between us. Six of thought. Peaceful times are on the horizon. The storms have passed and now you can see your destination is within sight. The stress in your life will begin to fade away, allowing for happier times. It may be necessary to take a journey over water or to another country. For some of us, what's happened and transpired in this connection, um, the trust has absolutely was broken for some of us we may need time apart especially over here on the energy i'm picking up as your energy of um i'm pissed off i'm hurt i'm betrayed do you not realize i want to be heard i want you to understand i cannot trust you i know i have proof i cannot trust you now yeah we we want to be heard in that in that Felt. For some of us, we need a break, a physical break from each other. For others of us, we may be in the throngs of, I need to, I got, to, I don't have a choice. You really don't have a choice of riding the waves of emotion, the journey over the water to uh, find any way to actually come back to this person. It's going to take some deep, deep soul searching and heart conversations and good communication skills on each of our parts, especially this person's part, because they they are the ones asking forgiveness of allowing this person to share their thoughts and their feelings, no matter how hardcore it's coming out, and uh, n not rebuffing them, not and just be there if you want the forgiveness the understanding and the kindness you've got to give it first hopefully that makes sense guys so we we've, we've got a, a hard a hard thing to overcome here but it's not impossible and it like i said spirit is already pointed out it may be necessary to take a journey to another country, to another space, a physical space, so that you can do that journey over the water, over your emotions. Let's see, this person, first person, your person, what's important to them? Law of attraction. We attract what we are. Use the law of attraction to manifest your perfect match by being the perfect match to yourself first perfect match to yourself first 
Mm. With that one, y'all y'all hear me? I'm sitting here quietly going, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. This person, the thing I'm picking up the most, most is this person may have turned it around. If they got caught doing something or they've been doing something, they were, yeah, playing around with the chariot all over the place. <laughs> They may project that onto, well, I do it, so I know you do it too. They may be mirroring out and trying to project something onto you that you're not doing, but they done. Hopefully that makes sense. Mm -hmm. What else? Best part. If life were a movie, being with each other would be the best part. You both bring out the better parts of each other. That's something they're desiring, but I got a feeling we've been bringing out the worst in each other. The worst. Because uh, this person, that law of attraction, will mirror it out on you of what they're doing. Uh, and, yeah. Mm. Okay. Let's come in over here on this person's energy, your energy. Let's see what's coming out over here of what's important. This does not want to let go of me. Two of them. Higher self, no matter how dark or muddy your path may be, trust the guidance of your higher self. Mm -hmm. And right now, because we picked this card up as your energy, it's really hard for you to hear your higher self or be guided because you're looking so hard for the shit, the proof. Of you can't say it was me anymore. You, it was you. Everything you thought I was doing, guess what? I got proof you doing it. You doing it. It's hard to hear your higher self mm -hmm. right now. So ju just, you know, come into acceptance of that. Don't judge yourself on that or anything because you've got to ride the wave of emotion. That's until you can get over the wave till it breaks and you're in the smooth, calmer water and it's foaming around you and you, you the adrenaline and the pissed off uh, can die away a little bit from you. That's when you'll be able to hear your higher self. Mm -hmm. On the bottom, we've got let yourself enjoy your partner's loving arms around your body their touch ignites a flame within you how pissed off are you getting at yourself for still being still wanting the warm embrace of this this person how how mad are you at yourself not them at yourself that you still long for that That's something to consider. But, and like I said, the, the one thing, do not judge yourself. Don't judge it. Because you, you be like, mm hmm, I'm the, what the hell's wrong with me? Look at what they did. Why? Why? When you find yourself in those moments of wanting a warm embrace, wanting the best, the best part. Don't judge it. Just accept that you feel it. There's a longing and a desire. And just allow it. Because once you go into acceptance of it, it brings you more. And it'll bring you more of what, why you're longing for it. Why it's coming up. It helps you clarify what's going on with yourself in the shadow. Common. Middle ground. Middle ground. Vivid dreams. Pay attention to your dreams. As the connection deepens, your dreams become more pronounced and full of answers. Mm -hmm. What are the dreams telling you guys? And But we can also have what I call vivid nightmares. Nightmares. Are you, are you mistaking dreams from your subconscious, from your higher higher self for uh, the ego triggering off on the subconscious level while you're asleep bringing you a nightmare and you going, ooh, see? 
Oh, higher self, my intuition was talking to me, wasn't it? No, that was your ego feeding you fear while you was asleep. Know the difference between vivid dreams and true answers and vivid nightmares and false, fake, phony answers. It's really important to learn the difference. Because mm -hmm. when we're in this kind of emotion, especially from this side, everything goes away. Mm -hmm. We're in a rock and roaring ocean of emotion. And we've got to let the storm pass before we can tap back into higher self and the vivid dreams and the real answers. Hopefully that makes sense. Let's go ahead and pull our Power of Surrender deck. What would help us get back to each other, come, come back to each other, meet each other halfway on that bridge of the heart? Meet me there. I'm only going halfway. You've got to come the other. <laughs> yes. Ow. It's got to be an equal give and take. What would help, coming in on this person's energy, what would help if they surrendered what? Surrender to spirit once you've done everything you can do to achieve a goal Turn the situation over to the divine. Let spirit work its magic for you. This person needs to quit trying to make everything okay mm -hmm. Quit trying to Figure it out how to get back in their position with you over here mm -hmm. And they're going to have to accept what the divine works out mm. Let's come to this person. What what would help? What would help us find our way back together? Surrender your attachment to results. The formula for success is to do all you can, make things happen, then let go of the results. Holding on too tightly to a desired outcome can sabotage it. What were we trying to do? What were what is the evidence? The proof I want to slap in their face. Maybe you need to let it go because guess what? You already know, stand in that confidence, you don't need to prove it. This person, no matter what the F they say, they already know. You don't have to prove it to them because they were there, they did it. And you know, stand in the confidence of what you know and let it go. Quit trying to, to bring the proof, to throw at somebody's face, to get them to quit arguing. Quit, quit the drama. Exit the stage, the drama's over. Choose your shows and the stage and your performance wisely. Yes. What else over here? Because we need more over here. Surrender to miracles. Be open to miracles occurring in your life. Feel and know that these events are real. Let go of res any resistance and banish any doubt that miracles can happen. Miracles can happen. Mm -hmm. Is there anything else for my Taurus energy over here? And yes. Dang, it was fine. Surrender to silence. Mm-hmm. In quiet meditation and contemplation, let go and enter the stillness within. Silence can heal and replenish you. What what was it? The journey over water to another country, to your own space. That's what will help right now. Because you're riding the waves of emotions and you've got to allow yourself... Uh, to come off the the reeling feelings of that reeling up and down roller coaster too fast everything's just slamming me all at once together what would help us together to surrender surrender fear let go of the fearful stories you are telling yourself stay in the moment focus on solution and celebrate every baby step forward Every baby step forward, the little things, celebrate the little things, but letting go of fear. Mm. Bottom of the deck, for some reason my fingers were tingling. Surrender to setting limits. It is healthy to set boundaries in relationships. Practice expressing your needs and remember that no is a complete sentence.
We're taking it. Yes. See what the universe wants to bring out, guys. And then I'm going to ask Spirit to pull the veil back and let your person's energy in for us so that uh, we can get a message from them. But let's let the universe chime in about the situation right now. This is for my Taurus. My Taurus. What do you want to bring to my Taurus's attention? Pop. First one out. We're getting two here. Inner Goddess, express your divine feminine energy and loving wisdom will transform your life. Feminine energy, not masculine. We're on fire. I mean, we are fire right now. We that emperor, bull, ram, everything else. Uh -huh. What else we got? Scales of balance. Find balance within yourself and things will balance out around you. Balance your scales. Give yourself time to re- balance the scale that you're weighing on you can't figure anything out you can't get accurate measurements when your scale when the scale this part and the arm parts are not accurate yet to be able to weigh what you're putting in work on the scale you also got deeply rooted in love Something is emerging from the depths of your most intimate desires. And we'll take us back real quick to where I said, guys, do not beat yourself up because you long for a warm embrace from someone that's done you dirty. Mm -hmm. Just clarify for yourself. Is it just the... <clears throat> the touch, the warm embrace that you want? Or is it specifically, I want their warm embrace? Identify the difference. Am I just wanting somebody to hold me for a minute? Could I go get my mama to do that? <laughs> Could I get my best friend to do that? Just give me a hug for a minute. Just, yeah. <laughs> hug me, pat me on the back, do something. Or is it this person you want the hug from? Identify what it is you need in this moment when that feeling comes up. I just need to connect with someone else because I'm hurt. Yes. Deeply rooted in love. Deeply rooted. Let the tree grow. Two trees. A heart and a scale. Mm -hmm. Let the scale correct itself before you try to weigh on it. Spirit, help us out here. Open the door, the veil, let the person's energy come through. This is for my Taurus and their person. Let's get a message from them, guys. I'm asking for a brief message, but before we close it out, I'm also going to ask them to share with us what they wish it is you would say to them. Going from both sides here, I want to see their desire or what they're hoping, praying you might would consider saying to them, but let's see what they want to say to you first. Talk to us from Taurus. Pop. You are the love of my life. You are my beloved. I'm scared of losing you. I feel the sexual tension. Uh oh. Wrong thing to say. For some reason, I'm like, uh oh. Uh oh. Somebody got triggered on that one. Can you feel me with you? Mm. What are they hoping you're going to say back to them? What are you wanting Taurus to say back? What are you hoping they'll say to you? Talk to us. Talk. Oh, gosh. I love you unconditionally. I believe in happily ever after because of you. I want to spend my life with you. We're under the same sky. Feel me there. Taurus, guys, I hope it was helpful. I'm sending y'all love and light. Bless be.